It's one of the biggest events of the year for geeks and gadgets. The Consumer Electronics Show is underway in Vegas, baby, and we've got the newest and coolest gizmos that have been unveiled. Who else do we turn to other than the one and only Robert Goulet? Sorry, Drew Cozum. <laughs> Joining us. Look at that. You got, yeah, I see Margaritaville. I see Caesar's Palace. Look at you, man. It's all here. I wanted to bring you this beautiful view of the strip, but then I had no idea what the wind is like at like 5 a.m. Vegas time. Very strong, Sid. So I swear, this isn't disheveled from like CES partying. I tried to look nice for you. I put on a suit, but now Vegas Street just has like a mohawk, so we roll with it. It, it legit, I know you're not in this state. It looks like you've had one too many mojitos. <laughs> Is how it looks. <laughs> no, I swear, this is just the excitement of hitting the trade show floor at the Las Vegas Convention Center, going to all these special briefings with all these different people to see the latest in gadgets that could be making it to our homes in 2024. Okay, let's uh, stop fooling around here on my end. Let's get to it. Uh, uh, keyboards are coming back to smartphones, and I couldn't be more excited. What do I need to know, Drew? Clicks for iPhone is bringing buttons back to phones. This is such an exciting thing for me personally. I'm a big buttons guy and there's a very cool Canadian connection here. So uh, two of the people who are behind this are influencer types, Mr. Mobile and Canada's own Crackberry Kevin. And they teamed up with the best people in the buttons business to create clicks for iPhone, which you're seeing right there. Works with iPhone 14 and iPhone 15 select models. And it just does so many things. First of all, opens up your screen real estate. So it's no longer covered by that digital keyboard. Then the shortcuts that are already packed into iOS, this keyboard is gonna unleash their full power so you're able to navigate through your phone and do more with it and get more done with it. And then there's the sensation of buttons. I don't know when the last time that you had a phone with an actual physical keyboard was, Sid, but it's always something that I miss. I always feel like I get more done when I actually have the real keyboard. Otherwise, if I'm trying to work up my phone, I'm always eager to get back to the actual laptop, get the proper setup going. But with clicks for iPhone, as soon as I got my thumbs on it, I was instantly in it and enjoying it. Now, they say it takes um, like kind of two hours to get comfy, uh, two days to get really good, and then two weeks to be a pro. But if you've used a button-based phone in the past, you're going to find a lot of familiar stuff. Clicks.tech is where you go if you want to order one of these babies. I'm writing it down. Clicks.tech. I'm serious because I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a BlackBerry okay. generation guy. I do need this back in my life. I have fat thumbs and it's not easy so i need that well, Fanta fantastic review that's perfect um all right drew who wins the award for coolest tv at this year's convention like the the only one that people are talking about is this new one from lg the oled t where the t stands for transparent it is a 4k television that you can see through so check that out that is in like the little display area it's meant to be like a home those slats on the wall are what you're seeing through the screen. But as you can see here, it can look like a normal opaque TV as well. So what you're seeing right there, that's normal TV mode. What you're seeing there is transparent mode. So you can bring up like the overview of your favorite apps and stuff to appear on the screen. And then when it's not in use, you can do some cool things. Like there's like art, artistic type of screen savers on there. And like the idea is like it kind of removes the screen from the room. So it helps um, make the aesthetics of the house look really good. And then um, there is the zero connect box which is where all, all your peripherals and stuff came in because I guess if you had a see-through TV but you're still plugging in HDMI cables in the back, that would be very weird. So don't worry. It is like a, a clutter-free, clean look and just the most futuristic of technology. Like my video that I shot that looks okay, but when you're shooting video of a screen, it doesn't do it justice. Trust me, when this LG OLED T comes to market in 2024, I really hope that Canada is one of the launch markets because that thing is so good. That looks amazing. Uh, I love a good, love some good TV viz from this convention, no doubt. Finally, Drew, <laughs> what is a gaming cushion? Okay, so this does sound a little bit weird, but it is going to help you feel your games. So Razer created this thing called Project Esther, and it was to demonstrate this new type of technology, uh, a different type of HD haptic. So what the uh, Rumble Pack did for the N64 back in the mid-90s, uh, they're taking this and going to a whole new level so you can feel your game. So this cushion lights up, you sit on it, and there's all these different zones that, depending on the game that you're playing, can be localized to do different things. So uh, there was one game that I was playing where um, I was on this little rail car thing, and I was shooting missiles at these guys who were trying to get me. And depending on the 
item that you're using, you have a different feel on your body. It is so immersive, like as things in the game are moving around you, behind you, toward you, it feels different. And what's really cool is it works with like the sound that's in the video game or anything that you're watching. So if there's audio, there will also be feeling. But as time goes on, more developers are building things specifically for this system. Um, you'll be able to get like a really custom immersive experience. So Project Esther is uh, the prototype for that. And uh, Razer Sensa HD Haptics is sort of like the platform, the technology that's making it all happen. Drew, that's awesome. We got 30 seconds. The magic mirror, what is that? I'll go quick. Um, Anura Smart Mirror. You sit in front of it for 30 seconds. It scans your face and gives you a little health report. So it is looking for the way that blood is flowing through your face, underneath your skin, and it can tell you that in just 30 seconds. It provides a, a score of vital stats, uh, your physiology, your mental state, and more. And it is created by a Canadian corporation called Mira Logic. So um, this is something that you might be seeing in the smart mirror um, someday, or, or you might be seeing it in other people's products um, that they're going to be baking in to make similar things. So you sit in front of a mirror, and it will tell you how you are doing health-wise with a very meaningful report. If it happened in Vegas, Drew Kozub saw the tech in Vegas. Drew, that's a great shot, man. Amazing job. Have a safe flight back. Go Jets. Thank you so much, Sid. Take care. One and only Drew Kozub at the Consumers Electronics Show. Always some amazing stuff.